So here's my watercolor painting so far. I've gotten pretty far with it. I'm almost finished. I think I'm done with watercolors. I don't see any areas to use it anymore. So to finish up, uh, now that it's completely dry, I can use tools like this to add uh, color and spaces I couldn't with watercolor. So crayons, uh, even markers and colored pencils will work too. If I wanted to add like little bits of color to any of these, a handheld tool uh, like this will work great. You have more control. Um, another great tool is any kind of um, drawing tool, uh, like a black pen, black color pencil, Sharpie, black pen. Uh, any one of these will be great to kind of go over uh, some of your edges and kind of redraw some of the details from your original sketch. Uh, even, you know, if you don't have any of those black ones, just a sharp pencil will also work really well on top of this. So I've gotten pretty far with this uh, drawing the detail. Another thing I want to include on here are some, uh, some words and letters to sort of label everything. And when I do this, I'm not going to use my normal handwriting because it's a little uh, messy. So first thing I'm going to do when I go to write the title of my, of my map, I'm going to take my time. So that helps just to have your neatest handwriting possible. Uh, it also helps to kind of go over top of it. So I'll take my letters and start to kind of go over them a little bit like this and make each one a little bit thicker. That always helps, makes it a little bit bolder, a little bit more visually appealing. You can also add these to your letters, they're called serifs. It's like a little uh, edge to your, to your letters. So when you're doing your lettering, take your time, go over it once or tw uh, two or three times, make them a little bit thicker, and maybe add little edges to them to make it look a little bit more visually appealing. And here's a look at the final product.